Hello guys, this is Mobile Freak once again uh, with another video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use the Super Widget Pro or the Super Widget application to edit and customize your widget. So you're looking at a widget which is not available in the Play Store or something. I edited this widget and I made it pretty dope and I know it. Okay, and uh, you know, uh, Super Widget is a. If you don't know, Super Widget is an application which will allow you to create widget for you and uh, yeah widget and it is pretty simple uh, uh, if you are using it for some time then you will get the hang of it but if you're looking at it for the first time it's a little complicated and i'm great i made this video so that you can you guys can just understand it a little bit more so it's pretty simple the procedure is very simple first of all what you want to all do is you need to have a home screen a free home screen with some space to create a much larger widget then hold click and hold and it is different for different phones in this i'm using my samsung galaxy note 4 click and hold so that the icons pop down on below click on widgets and you can scroll all the way to super widget pro now when you're clicking on that you can see there is a lot of different size uh, options over here so in order to make it a little bit big you can select four uh, into four which is uh, which will take the whole screen okay so what do you, you want to do after that is it will show resize or tap to start click on that and you can see the hulk super op option auto save sd card built in empty and all so this hulk super option is not there by default what you want to do is you need to go to the play store and download that from the play store so i think i will put a link to for that in the description so type in super widget like i have done over here click on search and this will show the super widget over here so but uh, below that you can see you might also like and click on more and you can see a different bunch of uh, widgets which is created by lot of developers so i have downloaded hulk super for that what it is what it will do is that it is a some default widgets created by uh, developers and it can be used using the super widget application go back and uh, let's go so one of the main bug or the problem which I face is that if you didn't change or select that uh, widget uh, after you select the widget it will be like a blank actually there is a widget over here but if you're clicking that the problem is uh, you will not get that option to choose the um, uh, different uh, widgets you downloaded from the play store so for that you need to click on widgets again you need to click on the size and don't uh, go, uh, go, don't go to another application or something just first of all set this widget and if you are uh, if you're going to another application like i've shown you earlier this uh, arrow mark and this resource or tap to start option will be gone so you have to do that again and uh, so this option will not be shown if you're going to another application and coming back again from here click on the hot super op option and there will be a bunch of widgets created by some guy I really don't know the name of this developer but the, the, he creates some cool widgets of course you can download it from other guys and uh, yeah there's pretty cool widgets so what you can uh, do is that just click on anyone you want okay just click on anything you want so you know I have edited this to that uh, on the first uh, when this uh, beginning of the video I have edited this widget to that okay that is pretty dope I mean you can really customize every aspect of this thing okay really everything so I'm selecting the super pick 76 for uh, the editing purposes so this is pretty dope comparing to that you see earlier right so what you want to do is this will be like this and click on this once more and it, uh, you can see this different bunch of options over here so below the widget settings you can see a layout option click on that and you can see all these stuffs over here this is what makes this widget over here this uh, image this tuesday 6 43 the time the date the search of the you know the voice search application option the unknown which is written below the image all this is this you can customize uh, you can change anything over here the rectangle the bitmap the text and all the text and this will affect the image widget over here so first of all i will demonstrate with changing the size and shape of the rectangle click on rectangle option over the top 
and this x offset the y offset means you can move the rectangle to the left I mean to left or right or uh, up and down so I'm just moving it like this or like this or whatever it is then you can change the color to something you like I change it to red so when you're changing the color you need to keep in mind that you can change the transparency of the color by moving this over to the left and right and first of all when you are moving drag tra uh, when you are trying to move this dragging option over here like this dragging option it will not move okay sometimes so what you want to do is you need to move this dot from the left or right to like you need to move it around then if you're trying to move this it will move okay first of all it will be like i'll show you guys one more time on some other so let the text you say i'm selecting the time uh, text over here so you can see the color by default will be black or like gray click on that and if you are trying to move this dragging option it will not move okay so what you want to do is change this little draw dot from here to like here or somewhere then you can freely move this dragging option so i'm selecting that green so in order to confirm the color what you want to do is that click the um this uh, click the rectangle option the color uh, over, uh, over the rectangle which is or right of the arrow okay change the color click on the rectangle to the right of the arrow and you can select it okay that's how you select it and for example if i'm changing it to white and i'm going back or something it will not change the color changing it to white then click on the rectangle toward the right of the arrow and it will change the color so now you can see that the there is some text below the tuesday which is not that big so i'm just changing the size of that to a little bit so you can do that go down and you can see the size increase the size by clicking it to left or right and you can change uh, move the position to right or left so what it will do is that you can see there is two options like the small arrow and an arrow with uh, like a hyphen or something but no arrow with some slash so what will do is that the arrow with the slash which will move uh, the position by uh, the amount of 10 and the arrow then the simple arrow will move it by the amount of number of one and uh, below the and yeah that's it that's what it is uh okay then you can change the color and you can, i'm going to the battery status to charging level text over here i'm changing i'm just increasing the size of it and change the color because you need to have a good visibility okay so i'm changing the color and i'm changing the size so at least there's a lot of stuff you can do with that the scale i think that is the size or something no that is the the percentage of uh, the text shown on the uh, widget and you can rotate it you can curve it you can increase or decrease the width so that's all up to you but what i do is i just increase the size so that i can see it a little bit more clear okay and yeah that's all you can that's that's you can do a lot of stuff okay and the other cool thing is that you can even change that green voice search option over there you can go down just uh, see the color right that white color uh, is for that voice that the speaker thing over there so if you don't know what you are changing just increase the size and decrease the size so you can know what you are changing okay that is pretty simple as that now that voice um, voice image is big then you can change the rectangle the rectangle will be green so that the uh, when you change the color you know that I was changing the color of the rectangle over there then make it to blue then the white will be really visible then if you're going back you can see there is an unknown thing so what is this unknown thing that means that there is nothing assigned to that text okay so how will you assign something so don't click on the module here you need to go go back uh, go down and you can see under the text option you can see text content click on that text content and what it will uh, this will show a lot of stuff what we want to what we want to see on that widget oh it, de it is depending up to you what you want to see so i'm clicking on locality and it will to show you the locality country and uh, country and stuff if i'm clicking on the network it will show me the uh, local ip the cell operator and a lot of stuff like that 
and if you come to system uh, I usually select this one okay the missed code the Android SMS Gmails and stuff I'm clicking on that so it's informative and if you can't if you want to change the size of that then you can change the size of that a little bit bigger and there's one more cooler feature this is the basics okay you, I mean you can probably do much more than that but I'm this is this, this is all you want to know if you want to just customize it then you need to go down you can see the voice search hotspot which I probably know know what that is there's something there of course and uh, there is a width of that so you probably don't know don't uh, if some if nothing is moving it means that it is something which is important and you don't want to know about it so the developer is saying that you don't want to know about it is something important or something like that or you can see the color is changed to transparent so you cannot actually see what is going on so if you are changing the color to black then you probably oh that was the hot water okay it changed to black so you know click on the black again make it to transparent and you're good to go so it is something you know like a hotspot or something uh, so it's like a feature right uh, if you're clicking on that it will voice search will be happening so it is like a command okay don't interfere with that and if you go to top I actually you can drag it to up and down which I don't know probably what to do I mean to keeping it front or something like that which you can which you probably know if you are uh, if you were using which you have probably known if you were using the Pixar application the bitmap application sorry the bitmap option over here click on that and you can change the image okay that's a pretty cool thing this image over here is a custom image which is set by the creator if you don't like that click on the bitmap and you can change the image i think the hug super application provides some image i don't know i haven't said so in order for in order to change the image what we want to do is click on that and you can select select the uh, gallery or Dropbox photos and you can change the image so you will, you will probably ask how to save this thing it's nothing to see okay just go back and don't click on that or something I don't know I haven't tried that so what you want to do is just go back okay that's what you want to do right that tick option is what will be selecting all okay so what you want to do is just go back okay go back that's it it will automatically save and the other of this skin disable save functionality so if the save functionality was there you can save your edited uh, widgets so that will be so dope but unfortunately the hard super guy they didn't allow us to don't allow us to save our widget so that's not a problem if you are not changing the widget then that's not the problem so click on back and yeah that's it the widget is set and it looks pretty dope and if you uh, when you're seeing it like this actually you can see what is the pros and cons of the widget you created and you can change the position and all those stuff and yeah that's it so i personally like this one because it looks pretty dope and uh, you can see the image of this butterfly on the widget which is actually the uh, wallpaper i have set for this phone i just chose it and it looked pretty dope okay i really love this wallpaper so that's it guys if you guys find this video useful then of course please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and if you haven't already subscribed to my channel yet please subscribe to my channel that would be really helpful and i will catch you guys in the next video